Three red flags that you should watch for as a subcontractor. Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com. You know, there's a few red flags that you need to watch for as a subcontractor. The first one is if the the company that you're subcontracting from is generally a, is generally a general contractor of their cleaning business, okay? And they're sub they're subcontracting the work to you um, uh, to clean the facility. And if they're telling you that you need to buy supplies from them, that's a red flag. Um, let me tell you why. Because in some cases, some cleaning companies today uh, are property management companies, they're cleaning companies, and they're also supply house, meaning that they, they uh, sell janitorial supplies. So, you know, in most cases, uh, those are three individual businesses that they, that they put into a corporation. And, uh, you know, and if they're telling you that you're, when you're subcontracting from them for whatever account that they have you bid on, um, and they're telling you you need to buy your supplies from them, that's a red flag. Um, and the reason is, it's quite clear. You know that they're, gonna make, they're making money off of you. Uh, you should be able to go anywhere you want and get, get your supplies anywhere you, you need to. You know, when we're talking supplies, we're talking restroom supplies and toilet paper, hand towels, things like that there. All you need to know is the quality that, that you're dealing with. Uh, you know, just because somebody over here is using XYZ brand doesn't mean you have to use XYZ brand. You know, there's different grades of toilet paper, hand towels, things like that there. Just make sure that you're, that you're uh, offering the same quality of paper. It's plain and simple. You do not have to buy from, the, from this person. So that's your first red flag. Now, uh, the other thing is, is that if they're telling you that you have to purchase equipment from them. Now, generally, I've heard uh, companies doing this uh, because um, what they do is that they're soliciting people that uh, are just getting started in the cleaning industry, uh, cleaning, or just started the business. And, uh, you know, they're, they, they're not very knowledgeable on a lot of different things. So some of these companies that are out there will, will tell people that they need to do this, that, and the other. And generally all it's doing is it's benefiting them. So again, you know, if you have a company that's subcontracting janitorial work, cleaning work to you, and they're telling you that you need to buy equipment from them, such as vacuum cleaners, you know, and uh, uh, mops, buckets, things like that there, no, that's a red flag. You can purchase that stuff anywhere. You can go on Amazon. Uh, there, there's, you know, you go to big box stores. There's so many places now that you can get these, these, uh, uh, these, this equipment uh, at a, a reasonable price. Now, and I, I guarantee you that uh, you could probably find better prices elsewhere than than purchasing it from that uh, from that general contractor or that uh, whoever they are. But anyway, that's your second red flag. You, don't have, you do not have to buy equipment from that, that company. Now the other thing is too, is that the third red flag is a clear giveaway that they're often a low split. And what I mean by that is that when somebody subcontracts uh, a workout in, in cleaning, cleaning jobs, generally what they're going to do is that they're going to say, uh, you know, they're going to pay somebody X amount of dollars and they already know what their budget is because they're holding the contract. They're holding that contract so they already know how much money they want to pay. And some people will only give you a 50-50 split. So let's say, that the, let's say the account's worth $100 a month. Well, they're only going to offer you $50 a month to clean it. Then they're going to pocket the other $50. $50. Now, when you think about that, all they're doing is just managing the account. They're just making sure that the customer is getting what they want. And obviously that's what they're hiring you for, to make sure that you perform to the level that they set forth. But, do you want to do that for 50%? No, it's not, that's not fair. It's not fair. So whenever you have a company like that that offers you such a low split, or, or any split whatsoever, what you do is that you gather all your information about the account. You know, the square footage, the frequency, the scope of work. You know, uh, anything else that we need to know about that account? Is there going to be project work? And, and you know, uh, what are the days of service, hours of service? Uh, is there a day porter? Uh, so on and so forth. 
once we gather all in that information, then we can go ahead and run our own numbers and see where it would be that, that we would uh, charge a uh, prospect to, to service that type of account. Very, very important. Because now you got a now you got a baseline. You know exactly what you think that account would be worth. Now, like I said, uh, that company that's subcontracting you, they already know they've got the, they hold the contract. They already know what price they went in at. Um, you know, so they they already know they know that. So uh, they're always looking for the lowest price possible. But you know, it has to be a win-win. It's got to be a fair uh, fair deal. You, you know, I don't think that's fair. You don't offer somebody 50%. Uh, you know, do the math. Uh, or, you know, you should just ask them, would you do it for 50%? 50, 50%? No, they wouldn't. You know, if they told you they would, they're lying to you. So, and, you know, that's the other thing that I always find out is that uh, when you ask, well, ask these people that you're subcontracting to, well, what's your budget for, for this project? If they tell you they don't know or they don't have one, they're outright lying to you. Plain and simple, they're lying to you. Uh, that's no way to start a business uh, relationship. So that is probably one of the biggest flags that, that I have. Uh, that's a bonus red flag. That uh, if they if they play that game with me, uh, I just I'm not even interested in doing business with them because you know that every business, as I said, they've already set their their they've got the account, they've already won the account, they've got it, they know how much they're charging per month for that client for the service that they're offering. If they tell you they don't have a client, uh, budget, they're outright lying to you. That's just not a way to start a business relationship. So, but anyway, so you know those are some some key red flags. Um, if they're telling you that you got to buy supplies from them, that you have to buy equipment from them, they're giving you a low split. Um, uh, that's those are some really red flags that you you got to probably think twice about even doing business with that company. And you know there are a few out there that are that are like that. You know, sad to say, but there's some companies out there where the ethics are, you know, <laughs> uh, they're not quite there. So uh, be careful. And I hope that this video helps uh, because uh, you know there's no need to subcontract work uh, if you can't make a fair profit on it. Um, so uh, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like like the video, and uh, you know if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to subscribe to our channel, and watch for our next video. We'll be have, we'll have more videos uh, with great tips. Thanks again.